All right, everyone. Hi, it's Ephraim, Pass Point One Comics, and I have a special YouTube video for you today. My good friend Peter Triple G Comics did a video about a week ago. His top ten uh, first, top ten comic first appearances, and he tagged three people, and I was one of them. This idea of this video originated from Alex, the comic hoarder. He had it on his YouTube channel, like his top ten first appearances. And Peter, Triple G Comics, looked at that video and he tagged me. So now I'm going to play it forward. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tag three people. First one is Hood Rat Comics, Godly Comics, and the last one is Swaggo House Comics and Games. But these are my some of my top 10 first appearances. Uh, first one right out the bat is a more of a modern book. Um, it came, it's Ultimate Fallout number four. Uh, the first appearance of uh, Miles Morales as the new Spider-Man. Next one that I have is a classic. It's uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 129, the very first appearance of the Punisher. This is signed by Stan Lee, John Romita, and uh, Jerry, oh, John Romita, and um, Jerry Conway. Yeah, Jerry Conway, <laughs> I wasn't sure. Next one up is Fantastic Four, number 52, the first appearance of Black Panther. This is signed by uh, Stan Lee. My next book up is Giant Size X-Men, number one. Came out in 1975. I remember when this book came out. I was, <laughs> I can't say this, I was a teenager in the 70s and I went to a comic book store and I seen a whole stack of Giant Size X-Men number one for 50 cents. And I've told the story before, I just grabbed one. I was a kid, I didn't know what I was doing. Looking back, I go, dang it, I should have grabbed like a handful of them, but I have three of them now. So, you know, no complaints. Uh, here's a really, here's my biggest one uh, that I have. This is Amazing Fantasy number 15, the very first appearance of Spider-Man. I bought this about a year ago. And I'm so glad I made this purchase and investment. It, this is a keeper. Uh, next one up is Avengers number four. Is the first appearance of Captain America Steve Rogers in uh, Silver Age comic books. And this is also signed by uh, Stan Lee. My next book is a more of a modern book. Is Edge of Spider-Verse number two. Is signed by Stan Lee is the very first appearance of the new Spider-Woman, Gwen Stacy. This is a variant edition. It came out a uh, 9.8. Next up, this is not technically his first appearance, but this is the first appearance of his name on a title by himself. The Invincible Iron Man number one came out in uh, 1968. My next book up is Incredible Hulk 181, the very first full appearance of Wolverine. This was signed by Stanley and Herb Trimpey, and Herb Trimpey actually did a little sketch on the cover of this book. And next up is a more recent book. It's about two years old. Is Something is Killing the Children, number one. The very first appearance of Erica Slaughter. This has been a fantastic book to read. I've enjoyed this storyline so much. And I decided to throw an extra book in there. It's not a first appearance per se, but it's one of the very first times that these two Marvel superheroes have battled. As far as I know, is a journey into mystery uh, with the mighty Thor number 112, where he battles the Incredible Hulk. And this one is also signed by Stan Lee. So, like I said, this is a great reason to do a video showing you first appearances of my comic books. I have so many books that I've been collecting for decades. Sometimes I forget that I even have them, and it's always nice to look at them. So once again, I want to thank my good friend Peter Triple G Comics for tagging me to do a top 10 first appearance, and also Alex the Comic Hoarder for starting this all out. Uh, if you like what you see, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. Until next time, everybody be safe and take care.